on the bench today is the Harley Benton SC Custom 3 Gold Top. This guitar was just released by Harley Benton on July 9th, 2024. Here are some of the specifications. The body is made of Maranti. The set and neck is also made of Maranti. The fingerboard is made out of roasted chitoba. It has white perloid crown fingerboard inlays. The neck shape is a modern C and it has an ABS knot. The nut width is 1.65 inch or 42 millimeter. The fingerboard radius is 13.74 inch or 350 millimeter. The scale length is 24.72 inches or 628 millimeters. There are 22 medium jumbo blacksmith stainless steel frets. It has cream binding. It has two Tesla TM VR Nitro Alnico 5 humbuckers. The controls are, there are individual volume controls for each pickup and one tone control with push-pull function for coil split on both pickups separate or combined. It has a three-way pickup selector switch, a tunematic bridge, here's something really cool, Grover machine heads, chrome hardware, and the color of this guitar is gold high gloss. Other colors in this line are vintage black, lemon flame, ocean flame, desert flame burst, purple burst, satin paradise, amber flame. So they actually have quite a few with the flame tops. My guitar weighs seven pounds and seven ounces or 3.382 kilos. In humbucking mode or the normal mode, the bridge impedance measurement is for the bridge pickup 8.44 K ohms. Both pickups together measure 3.91 K ohms, and the neck pickup measures 7.27 K ohms. I then went over and I pulled on the tone pot and turned on coil split mode and measured the bridge pickup at 4.27 K ohms, both pickups at 1.96 K ohms, and the neck measurement at 3.6 K ohms. Other variations of this guitar, as I said, include flame tops, left-handed variations, active pickups, P90s, and a Floyd Rose tremolo. This specific guitar in new condition is $271, and for a B-stock model, the retail is $195. From the U.S., to order from Tom & Music was, shipping was $119. Here are some observations I have of my evaluation of the guitar. The sides of the fretboard are smooth. I mean, ridiculously smooth. Not smooth like you would expect at this price point. Smooth at basically any guitar I've touched. The top of the frets, I found no rocking anywhere on the fretboard. The fit and finish of the body and neck is excellent. I absolutely love having Grover tuners. They're just so smooth to use. This is a really, really great upgrade. The knot is made from ABS plastic and seems to be adequate and that it works well. One thing I always look at in inexpensive guitars is the bridge assembly. The bridge and stop bar on this guitar is actually great. They're heavier than what I've experienced. They seem sound, well-made, um, much better than I have several other actual Harley Benton 450 style guitars, so other Les Paul single cutaway tile style guitars. And I actually think this bridge is better made. I do not see any reason to upgrade or replace it. The controls are full-size pots. And when you roll the control knobs, they're very smooth and feel like something that you would get on a more high-end guitar. The soldering and the basically building of the wiring circuit seems to have been done very well uh, done. The control chamber has conductive paint. And I was able to test this using a multimeter. The action or string height was a little high, but I was quickly able to adjust it down at the bridge without any string buzz. The intonation from the factory and out of the box was spot on and did not need to be adjusted. Neither did the truss rod or neck. I really like the belly cut curve on the back of the guitar. Overall, the guitar is really nice to handle and play. And I really like the neck. I have to say, I feel comfortable comparing this guitar to any of the Les Paul line of Epiphone. 
I think that the SE Custom 3 holds its own and is as good a guitar as any of the Epiphones that I've handled. And this includes the inspired by Gibson versions as well. The pickups are very nice. They have great low end, middle, and highs. Very well balanced. When you're in humbucking, you have to roll the back of the volume to about half to get really nice clean tones. The split coil works well for all three pickup selector choices. You really need the volume though turned up substantially. I had mine on full to get usable volume out of the single coils. I have to say that the single coil mode in this guitar is the most usable I have found in a guitar in a while. Other than the nut, I don't see anything on this guitar that needs to be modified or changed. I may consider, to be honest with you, at a later date, getting one of the models with the P90s and giving that a run as well. <laughs> 